that describe uh, Kuwait in the beginning. And also it's uh, describe w how Kuwait looked like back then in uh, 1760. So uh, I started with the historian, our uh, friend, uh, Bashar Khalifa, to study the Kuwait uh, by points and uh, to, to create the, the image of uh, this uh, city uh, with the whole uh, mosques and uh, the most uh, important kut, uh, also the markets uh, uh, with the ports and everything and the wall. Uh, before these paintings, uh, no one uh, can imagine Kuwait, what yeah. it was, was looked like. It's nice to keep a record and memory of these things, of our beautiful country. Yeah, this is what we do. And that's why it's very important uh, artwork in Kuwait. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this uh, panorama was amazing and uh, um, it's an important painting for the state of Kuwait. And you've done it before, 10 years ago, correct? Before and 10 years. And you brought it back yeah. again. And Tell us about that, please, Asad. And the first I when I presented in uh, Kuwait Art Association and uh, we make speech about it, uh, it was uh, look like a shock to the people. So oh. can you how can you create something from the desert? Yeah. And there is no uh, resources, very big resources to 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 show how is the the, the beginning of this uh, country. Uh, and after that, after ten years. Uh, Alhamra uh, Tower. They uh, contacted you. Contacted us to uh, to present it. Uh, this artwork in the Alhamra. Uh, so are, are there? Are you gonna now? You've done uh, the three walls in Kuwait history. Yeah. Is there gonna be uh, going to study the second panorama of Kuwait? Yeah. This is what we are planning to do. Okay. Tell us about that, please. Uh, in the 1860, uh, uh, they started Kuwait to be but much bigger uh, than uh, Kuwait, uh, the first one. Yeah. And they started to uh, people, the people they come here. Uh, yeah, many people started to come from all over. From all over, and, uh, and we studied as. Uh, uh, much better than the first one. The first one was so hard to uh, to find the uh, resources, but the second one, I think it's easy for uh, the historian Bashar Khalifa to, to read it exactly because we have also uh, many books talking about this and we have also some uh, uh, travels that came to uh, Kuwait in this uh, nice. uh, We time. look forward to this. When will this be? Yeah, I hope it will finish the more than four months and okay. we started now. To Inshallah, maybe towards the winter, huh? Yeah. And we will present it again to show it maybe in Alhamra, maybe, or uh, some other galleries. We've not decided yet. Well, we look forward to that. And uh, I know, as I said, you've had uh, six solo exhibitions. Uh, mm -hmm. um, so what is usually your style or philosophy or, or message that you try to give to the people who come to see your work? I started with the surrealism art. Surrealism art is uh, about imagination, to create something and uh, to talk about it. Uh, by uh, mind thinking, uh, fixing things and uh, issues inside the human, humans. But after uh, 2004, I uh, decided to, to uh, study again art. and. Uh, to use the, the realism art, it's better than surrealism art. In the realism art, I decide to to show the people uh, we should be we all equal in the whole world. Okay. Uh, and we also I, I fight the racism and uh, to try to to say we should be one. World, mm -hmm. whatever you say, whatever you do, mm -hmm. uh, this is only colors we have here, only nationalities. Uh, there is no difference between us. And I started to, to make my exhibitions talking about this, the stories and um, uh, roots exhibitions and uh, appearances, the journey. It was uh, uh, 2014, and also uh, 2012. And before that, uh, it was uh, 2007, it was uh, Faces. With uh, I made it that one. Uh, I made it by uh, uh, oil paintings oh, with uh, with uh, installation art, and uh, this kind of installation art it, it's uh, look like sculptures, mm -hmm. but modern art.
Mm -hmm. So I mix realism with modern art. Amazing. Yeah. Do you have any exhibitions that you've done as outside of Kuwait? Yeah, there is. Okay, uh, tell us about I that. I made in uh, Uzbekistan and also I made in uh, Germany and also uh, in Egypt. How were those experiences? I'm sure nice experiences. It's uh, beautiful. And also I, when I advise the, the new student, for an art uh, student, mm -hmm. I always advise them to, to focus on the solo exhibitions Why rather than that? participation. Why is that? Because it will uh, it will appear your your personality real. Okay. Um, but if you just to present your artwork with many artists, it will be just maybe uh, get lost a little. Get bit. lost, or even if you are good or talented, uh, and you can present uh, or you can show yourself between them, between the artists. That's the, the solo system, the solo uh, uh, exhibitions. It's uh, much uh, better and. Uh, you can you can see yourself in this uh, exhibition actually okay and um, uh, do you give art learning courses and if you do uh, what is the program and how can people if they want participate or learn more yeah me and my wife we started to, to give uh, courses she's also she's my mullah she's an artist and we started uh, to uh, make uh, courses Very learning good. exactly what the courses they given in Italy and Florence mm -hmm. uh, we need uh, good pace to, to start uh, build a uh, new generation in art and we started by uh, giving them anatomy art with doctors I, I sent them for doctors mm -hmm. and also the, I um, study the, the muscle uh, uh, tissues with the, um, uh, the dynamic anatomy very nice and uh, also the oil painting with surrealism art and where can people find out can they look on the web and they find information about you your wife and the courses yeah we have Instagram uh -huh. and we show it between uh, days and days uh, sometimes um, we put our post and what uh, is your Instagram account for it's uh, Asad Bunashi okay all one word A-S-A-D-B-U-N-A-S-H-I okay uh, they will follow uh, the the post, and we put our uh, posts. Uh, and you're you're ads. interactive with the people. If people send you message, you reply, and you. Yeah, of course. Okay. Even if anyone would, would he would like to ask any, anything about the courses, or I can, can give him the answers. Okay, very very good to hear that. And and besides, of course, being a well-known artist right here in the state of Kuwait, uh, you also write uh, novels. So yeah. tell us a little bit about that, please, Asad. The novel is called... I think uh, you have a cover you're working on right now too, right? Yeah. Uh, novel, uh, this, this novel is called Ta'ar uh, al-Warqa, or Warqa okay. Bird. Okay. Uh, it's talking about uh, what if Leonardo da Vinci born in Kuwait? How the, our society will treat him? Yeah, what do you think about that? What was this that? is what is inside the story. <laughs> okay. And there is the story talking about this artist who was, who, who was his ambition and he wanted to, want to reach his target. Sure. And he fights with uh, uh, some uh, people. They try to to uh, not push, push him away. Yeah, to push him away from his line. So, uh, and also there is a line in the another line in the story talking about this painting. How did this painting come? One of the famous paintings from this small country called Kuwait. Yeah. To the whole world the whole world yeah so this is very huge challenge is this novel finished novel. or not yet that's yeah it's published uh -huh. and uh, now it's to produce it to, to the golf uh, the whole golf great that's really nice so yeah. where can people find this if they want a copy in that can they also find it, it on the instagram they can contact you or on the website or there is in uh, Nova Plus, uh -huh. and uh, that's Salasil and Jari. Okay, the different bookstores they yeah, can find Yeah, there is in, in many, many bookstores you can find it there. Okay. Any other novels you're working on right now? Uh, actually, I have old no no novels. Uh -huh. I try to, uh, uh, to issue it, uh, but it needs little time. So I need to focus now on the second Kuwait panorama. This okay, is this is where your focus is now, huh? Yeah. Okay. But also, besides also writing novels and so forth, you also are a short film director. So tell our audience about that, please, also, aside. Yeah, this is exper experience. Um, it was before maybe uh, four years or uh -huh. five years. 
I decided to, to, to learn how to use the camera, really? learning how to direct her to be an art director or directors nice. of short, short movies. Uh, I participate with the golf festival and uh, I have many uh, short movies. Such as, tell us about what is your style of movies, short movies? You take like from yeah. your novels or art kind of uh, things or what? Yeah, I have uh, two kind of, uh, of uh, mo movies uh, I uh, directed. Uh, the first one is about uh, fear, in the human fear. Mm -hmm. Fearing uh, self fear, life fear. Uh, and it's, uh, the first one is called uh, Sidrat al Hanish. Uh, uh, snake trees, uh, and the second one, the second line in the director, uh, it was video art. And oh. video art is a new kind of art, uh, modern art. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, to present idea with different images and pictures to make it to make a whole uh, sentence, so you can oh, wow. show it to the, to the people. With the, it's, uh, it's different than than um, the short movies. Uh, different than flashes or something uh, like what we are seeing here before. Okay, so what do you find yourself most in? The art, I think, is your passion, right? Of course, oil paintings. Yes. It's, uh, it's my passion there. Okay, so that's it. amazing and you're doing so many different things and um, as we're winding up our interview, uh, Mr. Esad Bunashi, tell us again about the second Kuwait uh, panorama. When will this be in What's it briefly about again? Yeah, we have many, many stories about uh, the second uh, panorama. Uh, there is uh, people, then the historian, they are really read about it. And they are, have many, many troubles. They came in this area and they write it down uh, and they describe what it's uh, Kuwait look like. So this is our target in this year, me and Bashar Khalifa, the historian, and we started it, uh, I think after a month we will be finished, and we are ready now. You're working on it. The, the, yeah, the, the first uh, touch on this. Uh, well, inshallah, we look huge forward. Paintings. We look forward to this uh, exhibition, and uh, please let us know when it will be, so we can send our camera crews to cover this and uh, take some interviews there. Yeah, and uh, as we're coming, uh, Mr. Asad, toward the end of our interview right here on Hala Kuwait, uh, what other bit of advice or comments do you have for? The people watching out there would like to know about art, learn about art. Yeah. They may be afraid or nervous. What would you like to say? Art is expression inside the human. You can show it by abstracts. You can show it by surrealism art. You can make by paper something. You can do it as really perfect sculptures. So it doesn't mean this is, there is a rules, special rules for art. It's about spirit. If you have the spirit, you can show it to the people. You can talk. Uh, before 500 years, the, 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 the LED TV, it was only oil paintings. Yeah. So it's the same idea. We are living in art, and especially this, uh, this years, exactly. Uh, the artists can bigger and bigger and bigger. Sure. So I uh, advise all the, the, which anyone have little talent, he study and he started. Art is very important things to life. Without art, you will live in black and white. Exactly, very well said, yes. and we'd like to thank you so much, Asad, for being our guest tonight, and wish you and everyone working with you all the best in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you, it was a pleasure to have you right here on the program. We are speaking to uh, Mr. Asad uh, Bunashi, who is an artist, uh, an author, as well as a, a short film director. Wishing him all the best of luck in his future endeavors, and uh, with that, we pretty much come to the end of tonight's episode of Hedda Kuwait. I hope you enjoyed all that we brought to you on tonight's program. Make sure to enjoy the rest of your viewing this evening and all throughout the week right here on KTV2, the family channel. Before I leave you, remember to always take care of yourselves and each other. And let's always remember to respect one another. Have a nice evening and good night for now. <laughs>